Hello, my name is Joel Spitzer, and I'm making this video here to just introduce you to the channel that I have set up here to help people quit smoking. I had a rather lengthy intro video that talked about how I got into it, and originally, and a lot of my philosophies, and it was almost more information than people need. I'm going to attach it into the description of this video, so if you want to go into my background into this field, you're more than welcome to go look at that video. But this one, this new introduction, I really want to focus on what material we have here and how I think it will be the best way for you to use it to be able to quit smoking. I have a series of videos. There's over 180 videos here now. I have a whole bunch of articles. And what I've done using uh, YouTube's description feature per video was try to attach the articles which would back up the information that was in videos that you're watching at a given point in time. And I've set the videos up into playlists where if um, you're just thinking about quitting smoking now, there's an introductory um, playlist. And you can get some real good introductory information there. And when you're ready to quit smoking, we go into a playlist of day one, and then day two, day three, and videos you can watch. Now, i got to point out, those first few days, there's a lot of videos. And I understand most people aren't going to be able to watch them all, but try to watch as many as you can. I'm really trying to cover information that really helps during those initial quitting days, what, you know, what people can encounter. And understanding can really help alleviate the fear. It may not take away withdrawal. Withdrawal may happen, it may not. But understanding why it's happening will alleviate the fear. And the fear is what really throws people off the most when it comes to thinking about quitting smoking and then actually doing it. I try to cover four basic pieces of information in, in what I do. And it's, I'm trying to help people understand why they smoke, why they should stop, how to stop, and how to stay off. The first one of why they smoke is a lot more important than a lot of people think. A lot of people, you know, think, well, that's not really important information. You know, why they should stop maybe and how to stop oh, really big and how to stay off is really big. But why they smoke is more important than most people realize because if you don't understand why you're doing it, that is where, again, this fear issue comes in. You've got this belief that smoking is essential for survival to a degree or for stress reduction or for weight or for just who knows. You've got these beliefs that cigarettes make your life possible. And more importantly, the, the thought is your life will be impossible if you don't smoke, or in this day and age, if you don't deliver nicotine. And these are all false premises. And the more you watch and the more you read of this information, I think the clearer this is going to become to you of how your life really will improve by quitting smoking, not just getting healthier, and that's a big one, but it becomes much more manageable in a lot of other ways. It is a much nicer way of life. So... We have materials here. I'm hoping you utilize them. I want to point out, I suspect there's people who are going to, you know, kind of just watch and watch and watch and then one day plan to quit smoking. And it isn't the advisable way to do this. I really suggest if you are considering quitting smoking, you can watch some of the introductory videos. Fine. But when it comes time to actually watching the day one videos, the day two videos, actually quit smoking and then watch it. Don't do it in the reverse order. If you do it in the reverse order, you got to understand, the reason I put these things into the playlist that I did is I'm trying to give you the real support and understanding that you need to get through some of these initial days. And when you do it in reverse order, where you're watching all the material and then you quit, well, then when you quit, you're not really getting the reinforcement, the encouragement that the videos can provide, but the the reinforcement of how important what you're going through is. And again, I want to point out something here. You may not go through anything major. There's a whole lot of people who quit smoking with real minimal difficulty. There are people who have a real hard time, but both sides can pull it off. If you don't want to go through the whole video lesson, there's one video that I have laid out, which is a tip sheet about quitting smoking, and it gives my major tips. I'm going to attach this in this intro, too. That will give you all the information you need to do this on your own with nothing. 
Uh, it can be done. It's the way the vast majority of people who successfully have quit smoking in this world have quit smoking without any information whatsoever. Nothing. And they yet have pulled it off. And that's something I want to get into this video here, into this intro. We have more former smokers in the United States right now than current smokers. Over half the people who used to smoke have quit smoking. There is this perception like, oh, quitting is close to impossible. Very few people can pull off quitting smoking. Oh, you gotta, you got to sit through a whole thing like I'm doing here if you're going to pull off smoking. No, you don't. It's not true. And I don't want to be one of those people perpetuating this idea like it's impossible to quit smoking. Quitting smoking is very possible. And again, just by the fact that, uh, you know, we're not only in this country, but in other countries too, there's more former smokers than actual smokers, it is an important thing to understand, an important point to realize that quitting is possible. The information I'm giving you here will make it, a l again, a little less scary, uh, uh, but still, even without this information, it can be pulled off. So, anyway, I uh, hope you find these materials helpful. Again, uh, I, I, I'll notice on some platforms when it, the description, if you don't hit the show more option, you don't see what's the, the attached articles and the attached um, videos. So, make sure if you're in the description area and you see the show more option, hit it because that will give you the link to a lot of other information, background information, to the concepts covered in that specific video. I hope you find these videos helpful, and primary understanding here is if you want to quit smoking, you can do it, and once you pull it off, you will be able to stay free forever. If you make and stick to a personal commitment to never take another puff,